Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I'm back with more Christmas recipes to share with you. Now on previous videos, I've shared with you some Christmas brunch ideas, and I've also shared my recipe for Christmas fudge. But today I'm sharing some appetizer recipes, quick and easy ones to be exact. First up, I have some kid-friendly pizza pinwheels. These guys are so easy to make and they're full of pizza flavors like mozzarella and mini pepperonis. And I really like to shape them into a Christmas tree to make them extra festive. After that, I'm going to be making some jalapeno, cream cheese, and sausage bites. These guys are delicious, especially if you like your appetizers spicy. And lastly, I'm going to share a gluten-free appetizer as well, perfect for my husband. These salami rolls are super easy, yet really cute and tasty. So stay tuned and I will share all of these recipes with you. For the jalapeno, cream cheese, and sausage bites, I'm going to start by adding eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese to my mixing bowl. To this, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, some pepper to your tastes, of course. I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning. I want this cream cheese to be very flavorful. And then lastly, this part is optional, but I'm gonna put a few shakes of red pepper flakes. We don't want it too spicy. Then with my hand mixer, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. And now on to the tortilla. Today I'm gonna to use this extra large spinach tortilla. The spinach makes it green, but it really doesn't make it taste like spinach at all. But if you'd like, you could also use a regular tortilla. I'm going to take half of my cream cheese mixture and spread it out all over my tortilla. And I wanna make sure to get it all the way to the edges. To this I'm going to add about a quarter cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, followed by lots of mini pepperonis. Now if you can't find the mini versions, don't worry, the regular ones will work just fine. At this point, you could add any other pizza toppings you prefer, such as bell pepper or onions or olives, those would be really tasty, but I'm just gonna leave this with cheese and pepperoni today. Next, I'm going to roll this up as tightly as I can. One tortilla of this size is going to make about a dozen pieces, so I'm actually gonna make two of these today. And before I cut them, I do wanna stick them in the fridge for about 30 minutes to harden. It makes it a lot easier to cut them. So while those are hanging out in my fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and get my garnishes ready. I'm gonna take my yellow bell pepper and I'm going to thinly slice off each of the sides. Next, I'm gonna take my star-shaped cookie cutter and punch out as many stars as I can. When I'm ready to serve these, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them with a very sharp knife. And I'm gonna try not to squish them as I'm cutting. I'm just using a very slow sawing motion just like that. Next, I'm going to arrange them into a Christmas tree shape on my platter. These are so cute. The green tortilla and the red pepperoni look very Christmassy. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the stars on top of the tree, and I'm going to use a toothpick to secure it. Just like that. Then I'm going to add the rest of my bell pepper stars, a few cherry tomatoes, and give it a sprinkling of parsley, just to make it look special. I also like to serve this with some dipping sauces, such as my homemade ranch or some marinara sauce. Next up, we're going to make the jalapeno cream cheese and sausage bites. Now I'm actually making a double batch of these. You can easily cut it in half if you'd like. I'm going to start by browning one pound of spicy sausage. And I do like to drain the excess oil from the sausage when it's done cooking. Next, I'm going to take my sheet of crescent dough and open it up. I'm gonna lay it on top of a parchment paper on top of a cookie sheet. That's gonna make sure that they don't stick and it's also gonna make cleanup a breeze. Now, I'm going to take my pizza cutter and I'm gonna try to cut this into 24 even pieces. But as you can tell, I'm not very good at keeping my pieces even. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the spicy sausage and add it to the center of each 
square. Once that is done, it's time to move on to the cream cheese. I'm actually using jalapeno flavored cream cheese for this to add extra flavor and spice. And you just need a little dab on top of the meat. Now to form our little bundles, I'm just going to take two corners and pinch them together, followed by the other two corners and pinch those together as well into the center. Next, I'm going to put these into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or until golden brown. And here they are. These smell so delicious. They're spicy, but they're not too spicy. Perfect for a party. You can serve these warm right out of the oven or they're even good at room temperature. And I like to serve them with a little bit of sour cream to dip them in. And now it's time for our last appetizer, these easy salami bites. For these, I'm going to use some room temperature cream cheese, some low sodium dry salami, and some baby pickles. These are the snack mums and they're very small. You can use regular pickles or garlic. You could use spicy, whichever you prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain my pickles and I'm gonna use some paper towels to get out any extra moisture. Then I'm going to take my softened cream cheese and I'm going to add this to a sandwich Ziploc bag. This is going to make getting it onto the salami a lot easier and it's gonna make it look nice and neat and professional. So next I'm going to create a little assembly line here. I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my salami and then I'm going to snip the tip on my Ziploc bag so I can easily pipe my cream cheese. I'm going to add a strip of cream cheese to each of the salami pieces, followed by a pickle, topped with a little bit more cream cheese. The cream cheese on the top is going to help keep our salami pieces rolled together. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather this up, and then just for fun, I'm going to add a Christmas toothpick. Just right in through there. It will help it stay together and make it cute. And there you have it, super cute, and it was really easy. I do like to serve a couple of extra pickles on the side. Okay guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to check out my Christmas brunch video, you can click on the link right up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. And if you're not already, you can subscribe by hitting my face right down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.